All right, we're recording. Hi guys, thanks for coming to our December Bling Team call. Um, if anyone pops on, they should be muted on entry, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna get started with a couple announcements and then I'm going to let our guest speaker take over. <laughs> okay, so number one, um, January Beach Body Health Vet is January 9th through February 5th. Uh, make sure you call it the Beach Body Health Bet for legal reasons. We can't just say Health Bet or January Bet or whatever. It has to say Beach Body Health Bet. Um, that's on January 9th. Now, I am doing a January 2nd three day refresh for the whole team and anybody's customers. So I'm starting that January 2nd, and I'm just going to go ahead and continue with that challenge group through the Health Bet. So, really, my group is January 2nd through February 5th. And today is the last day to get $10 off the three-day refresh if you want to do that. And then lastly, um, on the National Wake Up Call, if you haven't listened yet, I usually don't listen on Mondays, but I did. And I noticed that they said that all challenge packs will no longer be on sale for January. So starting January, there's no more sales. It's just like it is what it is. So um, I, I don't, I'm sure that we'll have an announcement pretty soon about that. But, um, what are you laughing at? Everybody's eating. Oh, <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> we, we exercise. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't know any details about that, but if they do that, there must be some good reason and I, I trust them and I'm going to go with it. So that's, um, starting in January and I'm sure we'll hear more about that soon. So is that Sarah? That's not Sarah. That's okay. <laughs> that was Sarah. Okay, so um, I'm going to introduce our guest speaker. This is my husband, Michael. How this came about is, yes, well, he's always giving me tips and things about business because I don't know anything about that. But um, on the way home yesterday, we were kind of talking. He was giving me some ideas about challenge groups and different things, and I was like, hmm. Why don't you tell him? So that's why he's here and he has some good ideas. So let's see. Um, if you have any questions, we'll do those at the end. So go ahead and write those down because we're going to share the screen. So I'm not sure how, like if your questions will pop up or anything. So let me share my screen. He has a whole slideshow. Why they underline that? Okay, do you want me to, do you want it to be big screen or do you, do you want to not see them? We got to see the audience. Okay, well, you're only going to see a few of them. Okay. Do you want to not see yourself? I can change that. No, I like to see myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so you just click when you're. So, like she said, we talk uh, strategy every now and then on the very limited knowledge that I have of Beachbody. And I thought that the new, well, I, oh, I'm going to save it for the, for the end of the show to keep you in suspense. But what Beachbody's most powerful new money-making weapon is. Um, Just click. Not that hard. <laughs> click. Oh, sorry. I think you have to oh, put wait. it in slide show. Hold on. Play. Don't read that yet. Okay. Let's, oh, that still works. Okay. okay. Now click. So when you're a guest speaker like this, the training for that says that you have to establish uh, your credibility and, and why people should listen to you. So we'll get that out of the way. Most of you know me, I'm Michael Parsons. And uh, for those that do know me, this won't be much of a stretch when I say that you should listen to me uh, because I'm the most uh, remarkable human you've ever met. If anybody had doubts as evidence, I would, uh, I'd offer that I've recently dominated the Run Run Rudolph 5K in Santa Claus, Indiana. It wasn't even close uh, between me and the second place person. Uh, in addition, those of you who know my wife and know me uh, have figured out that for a guy of average looks, I've clearly married over my head. Let's talk about that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody that could uh, land my wife 
and keep it that way for going on 12 years uh, clearly has something going for him. And uh, so basically, that's why you should uh, listen to what I have to say. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and move on to uh, Beachbody's most powerful weapon is uh, actually before we talk about that, we're going to get through some uh, what I call peas and carrots stuff, stuff that's not interesting, doesn't really benefit you, but it's good background. Uh, what I do for a living is uh, work in a manufacturing company, and we mainly focus all day on the relationship between what we spend versus what we make. It's uh, really important to understand this, and, and most people who are in business don't, or at least they don't act on it if they do understand it. So that's going to be the whole theme of this as it ties into Beachbody's most uh, powerful money-making weapon. Uh, everything that we do, we say, how does this make us money? And a lot of people are turned off by that uh, thought that everything has to come down to money. It sounds grubby. Uh, but, it, but if it seems grubby to you, then our, you should donate your commission check when you get it. Does anybody do that? <laughs> None of us do that. We're in it for the money. Let's, it's, we don't have to pretend that we're not. Uh, but the important thing is that there's no mission without margin. Because at the end of the day, we all want to help people too. And unless there is a, a margin to fund that mission, there is no mission. So uh, if, if somebody's not comfortable with that, uh, they they need to understand that they really can't uh, deliver on what Beachbody has to offer uh, without the margin part. And Beachbody is a great example. They they don't exist to uh, make profits from selling Shakeology. They exist to change people's lives, and they've done that uh, for uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people. And but they couldn't do that. They'd have gone out of business a long time ago if they if they're, were just saying we want to shell, sell as much Shakeology as possible. But they'd have also gone out of business a long time ago if they'd have uh, not been concerned about making money out of it. So it's a, like they say, there's no mission without margin and no margin without mission. Uh, if so, if you're turned off by the thought that everything has to be about making money, then you should also be turned off uh, by the mission of helping people because you really can't help people in a sustained way uh, without making money. So it takes both. Uh, the good news about that is that most of the time, uh, if you really understand how your money is made, uh, Almost all the time in a, in a viable business, you, you make money from delivering an outstanding result uh, to your customer. So once you understand how you make money and assuming that your business makes money by delivering an outstanding result to the customer, then 95% of your day-to-day -day focus is not really about how do I grow my commission check, it's how do I deliver an outstanding uh, result to the customer. So the new relationship, rather than it just being time and money spent and how that relates to money made, it really needs to be time and money spent and how that relates to delivering an outstanding result to the customer. And then we're gonna take it on faith that our product and delivering that outstanding result is the best way for us to make a good income. Uh, before we go any further, you do have to believe in your business's product. Uh, your product needs to be, and you need to believe that your product is more valuable to your customers than what they pay for it. If you're feeling like that you're making an income at the expense of your customer, you've got to find a new business. Uh, your income has to be uh, 
because your product is worth far more than the customer pays for it to that customer. From what I've seen and experienced, Beachbody clears this hurdle uh, very easily. I know that nobody on this call probably needs convincing, but anybody that's seen a person go through a uh, transformation of the type that Beachbody provides, uh, people, uh, it's hard to put a price tag on what's it, what that's worth. So uh, Beachbody is an is a excellent business to be in just from the standpoint that, and I'm, I'm going to offend anybody that's, that sells, uh, my wife used to get invited to fake jewelry parties, for lack of a better term. And they would, she'd come home with a bag full of plastic minus $100. And, and, she, and yeah, she yeah. would, she, she'd basically have a bunch of trinkets that didn't do uh, anybody any good. And, and she'd be out 100 bucks, And it was a pressure sell the whole time. Uh, Beachbody's not like that at all. Uh, if, if a person uses this product in the way that it's intended, it's literally a life-changing event. I think uh, many of us have gone through that, and uh, I've heard people say, uh, I've been rich and I've been poor and I prefer rich. I've been fat and I've been thin, I prefer thin. <laughs> Uh, it's not everything, but it's but it's. Uh, I'll, I'll take it any day of the week. Uh, and and again, there's just not that many companies out there that deliver a product quite as valuable as Beachbody. So, drilling down into the relationship that we talked about, where money and time spent. Uh, that relationship compared to outstanding customer results, which then flows through to money made. Uh, let's try and drill down into that to figure out the most productive ways to spend time and money in Beachbody to generate money made. So how do Beachbody coaches make money? There's This, this is a three word answer and uh, and everything else is just gravy. In Beachbody and for a coach, you make money with monthly Shakeology deliveries. The more people that sign up for this monthly delivery, the more money you're gonna make. If you look at your commission check, I would guess that at least 80% of it is generated because people are signed up for a monthly delivery of Shakeology. Hopefully that means that they're using it. Uh, I think that Beachbody did a great thing, and it, I think it's cut into some people's incomes uh, when they started sending a notice of shipment. Uh, the downside is that they probably ship less product. The upside is that uh, you're now in a better sustainable business that's not shipping product that people don't want but people that actually use the product daily and take this delivery monthly is the basis of the income for Beachbody. Virtually everything that you do has to end up with a monthly Shakeology delivery in order to make the most money out of it. So the good thing about Shakeology is that not only does it uh, is that how you make money? But people who drink Shakeology every day are gonna to tend to have outstanding results. So here we're back to outstanding results tying in very closely uh, to our incomes. Shakeology uh, makes it easier and reduces the willpower that it takes to eat right. It also uh, decreases the amount of uh, time and money and effort you spend. It increases the convenience of getting uh, the right nutrition every day, which is uh, if anybody's ever done the 21 reset ultimate, ultimate, what is it? Ultimate reset. It takes a lot of uh, grocery shopping and, uh, and food 
uh, prep to get that. So Shakeology, when you say, how do you deliver outstanding customer results? It's the same thing as how do you make money? It's monthly Shakeology orders. So how do you increase monthly Shakeology orders? The, I've done a little bit of research into what the top coaches uh, and just got onto their YouTubes and, and their, uh, their top coaching tips. I don't know the names of them. Mitro, uh, one of the ones down in Florida. He does know the names of them. <laughs> but uh, they, they all said within the first five minutes that the secret to their success was the challenge group. Uh, so the, uh, if I was going to give one piece of advice, it, I would say that the top money-making weapon that you have is the challenge group. And not breaking any news here, you, you probably knew this already, but knowing uh, doesn't equal doing a lot of times. And not everybody ties uh, what they know to be the most effective money-making tool into what they're doing on an hour-by-hour, day-by-day basis. Except at Beachbody Corporate. These people realized that the challenge group was their bread and butter. And they acted on that and came up with this uh, my, challenge. my challenge tracker app, which, which I think is a game changer. The great thing about the challenge tracker app is that you get, uh, you, you make money by delivering an outstanding result and your customers are more likely to get an outstanding result if they're participating in a challenge group where they're checking in every day and saying that they did their exercise and they uh, had Shakeology that day. From a money-making perspective, they're getting this result by using the product and thereby uh, when that next email comes that says, do you need more Shakeology this month? People in a challenge group are more likely to answer yes and not cancel the order because they're actually using the product. That means that they're, they're making you money, but even more importantly, they're probably getting an outstanding result because they're using that product, because it makes it easier for them to eat the way that they do and to eat right. So the question is, are you really putting the right amount of focus into the challenge group? So some things to think about is on a scale of one to 10, how good are your challenge groups? Have, has anybody ever thought of that? Uh, it's a safe bet that with thousands of people running challenge groups, uh, that some of them are better than others. Uh, do people ever ask you unsolicited to join your challenge groups because others are raving about it? I don't even have any idea if this is possible or not. But, but why not? Uh, and, and it's all going to still tie into the results that people are getting. So what makes a killer challenge group? Uh, again, I have no idea. But, but I do believe that there are some awesome ones, and I think that there are some that totally suck. My gut feeling is that a great challenge group is a group where the challengers get the uh, better results than they might get if they were not in a challenge group or they were in a challenge group that sucked. So uh, one other thing as it ties to challenge groups, uh, the name of your team, what, what does that mean? Is there anything that you do that uh, is specific to to your team, to your brand, uh, you can think about that and tie that into your challenge group and give your challenge group some kind of identity that makes people associate your particular challenge group, has certain things about it that, uh, that make it either more enjoyable or more effective, et cetera. 
and this will all tie in to be part of your brand and we'll give a, an example of of something that uh, could be so bling team in three minutes uh, came up with with these okay I'm gonna keep this PG <laughs> now they they have the uh, the shakeology button they have the exercise button but they're probably missing a, a button which bling team is going to add and it's the I didn't mess up my eating today button so you, you got to have uh, the most important part and, and we all know this it's not the workout and Shakeology is important because it makes it easier to eat right so why not have a check-in and an accountability a checkbox that says today we stuck to the plan uh, another thing that's uh, been effective is achievement tokens so maybe somebody logged a workout for seven days out of seven are you recognizing that uh, maybe they did their shakeology all seven there's a different token for that and it's just recognition at the end of the week uh, possibly tie in some prizes occasionally uh, also have you allocated a budget to making your challenge groups the best I don't know what that budget should be but you can look at all the ways that you spend money through Beachbody and say if I think that challenge groups are my uh, number one money-making tool how much of my budget is going to making that challenge group an eight or nine or a ten out of ten rather than a, a two to five out of ten uh, you, you gotta understand your team brand like we said and maybe use the challenge group to build that so uh, blingamania 2017 let's say they have to qualify to get into it and since it's a bling team the winner of of this gets a five hundred dollar gift card to Tiffany's or something along those lines uh, it you may lose money uh, in terms of uh, that gift card but you might have done more uh, to really establish a brand identity with some of those things and, and that that's maybe an extreme example it doesn't have to cost that much that's an extreme example <laughs> but if you want to get me that I'll take it <laughs> so again the point you're in a tremendous business uh, the product is extremely valuable to the customer uh, lucky to be in that in my opinion uh, you can really change people's lives with what you're doing uh, and in a business like Beachbody, uh, it's very important to understand how you make money, uh, but then understand that making money really means delivering an outstanding customer result and then thinking, uh, spending all your time figuring out how to improve the customer result. Uh, in Beachbody, the challenge group, according to all the top coaches, is the most uh, potent weapon for killing it for your customer and uh, and changing the most people's lives is to get them in that challenge group and then once they're in the challenge group uh, make sure that they have the best chance for success possible so that's where you have to spend every waking hour figuring out how you're going to make your challenge group the best how you're going to set it apart why the people are going to uh, have the best results and then why they're going to recruit more people for you uh, to that challenge group and again the better uh, results of the challengers the more people you impact uh, hopefully the word will spread uh, the results it will really feed your business of all those people and uh, I'll just end by saying that anybody that's interested in in uh, Winning a 5K should strongly consider signing up for the Run Run Rudolph 5K 2017. It's in Santa Claus, Indiana, early December every year. Uh, there's really uh, just a bunch of smucks there, and, and it was an easy win. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll turn it back over to the boss. Okay. Can I ever figure out how to... Wait, you're not done yet. They may have questions. Okay. Sure. Now he's going back to his... Sit down, please. <laughs> Okay, um, I have all of you muted, but if you have any questions, you can unmute yourself, or if you don't know how, um, I can do that for you. There is a raise hand button, which is weird. Anybody? Okay, so, well, before we started this, I asked him um, what a challenge group budget should be. I know he just said he didn't know, so, like, no idea. I think that each time that you spend a dollar, whether it's on a challenge group or uh, customer acquisition or to sell a challenge pack, you've got to understand how that dollar is going to turn into revenue for you. Uh, there, there's it being a tax write off is like a consolation price. You don't want to spend money to write it off for your taxes. You want to spend money to increase your revenue. So I don't know what the right budget is. I just know that every dollar that you spend, you should, and it doesn't always have to be direct. I mean, you, you can say, well, I'm building awareness. I'm, I'm building, uh, maybe strengthening your brand, but you really want to uh, run it through the gauntlet and understand how this dollar spent is likely to turn into $5 made. Anybody have any questions? Scott Miller has a question. Can you unmute yourself? It's called the Run Run Rudolph. <laughs> 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 what age group are you in? No. Uh, <laughs> along those same lines, I just wanted to make a comment that as far as tracking the dollars spent to the dollars that come back in, we also need to keep track of the time spent versus the dollars that come back in. Absolutely. A lot of times we all have busy lives and we're going to run out of time before we run out of money. That's so right. If you don't pay attention to how much time you're spending and what you're, what the fruits of that time are coming back as you're going to limit your success because you're just going to run out of hours in the day. What we, what we do at the, you know, where I work, we will uh we don't let people say that time is free just because they're there anyway so it's a pretty good uh practice to assign some dollar value to any hour that you spend on uh, beach body and if if uh, somehow your beach body work starts kind of looking a lot like facebook surfing then uh <laughs> then the, you ought to say that the meter is definitely running while you're doing that and uh, so putting an hourly value on your time and then logging that is an excellent idea and saying, how did I, wh wh what did I get for that two hours okay. or whatever you spend? And, and it, what will what'll almost certainly happen is if you actually put a dollar value with it, you'll be 10 times more disciplined about how you spend that time. So I, I think that's a great idea and, and to log not just the money that you spend, but the time that you spend. And I wouldn't put anything less than $20 an hour on it. Yep. I've been recently setting a timer for myself. So I'll say, okay, I have 10 minutes to get how many invites out because yeah, cause then I'll do an invite and think, Oh, let me go see what this person's doing. And I get sidetracked. So if I set a timer, I got to get it done. So that's, that's helpful. Right. I think so, too, because that, that time will eat up your profits if you put a dollar value to it. You make more money delivering pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, that's true. It's a quality also, though. Well, <laughs> it's the opposite spectrum. Yeah, you can't serve Facebook while you deliver pizzas and not have a record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else? No. Okay, so I have. Um, you can go now. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I had just have some quick tips on. Um, so while he was talking, I made some tips on things for challenge groups, and I know that I can be much better prepared and give more value to my challenge groups. So one thing that I do do 
is I do the 100% club. So every, I do do. So every week, um, I will go through and see who's logged their Shakeology and their workout for the whole week, and I'll, I'll put them on the 100% club. I make a little Canva um, picture, and that's free. So I've so that's in my budget, right? It's free. I do it, and people like it. And if I accidentally miss their name, they tell me about it. So that means that you know that must that must work for them. So that's free. Um, I just, where'd I put it? Everything's out of order now. Oh, it's right here. Oops. Shopping papers everywhere. I just made this little tracker sheet. It's called, I just named it um, Challenger Check-Ins. I put all my challengers names, what program they're doing, and then every week I'm going to just check it off. So next week I'll I'll do a private message to the first challenger, and once that's over, I'll check it off. Because I know I can do a better job of checking in one-on-one -on -one with my challengers rather than just as a group. Because, I mean, a lot of times you have lurkers who are in the group, and maybe they're doing their workout and, and drinking their shake, but they're not saying much. So I'm going to try to do one-on-one -on -one messages every week to them. Because um, at leadership, I think Jessica Nelson said that it was some like crazy, gosh, I wish I could remember it, but she said she does one-on-one -on -one calls, or maybe it was Melissa McAllister. She will call her challengers, and they have a much better success rate than um, if she just sends them a message or if she doesn't check in with them at all. So she actually calls them on the phone. So maybe I'll get there one day, but <laughs> I'm just going to stick with messages right now. <laughs> That's okay. All right, and um, I think that's it. I think that was my only tip. So I have some uh, two call to actions for you. I want you to set for um, 2017, it can be monthly or the whole year, I want you to set a budget for your challenge groups. And if you wanna make them, um, say you wanna do odd months, uh, just a free Canva thing, that's fine. Or maybe you want to do, I, um, let's see if I have one. I stock up on hip hop abs when they're on sale for the, like the holiday sale or any of that. They're like three or $4. I'll stock up on those and I'll make those prizes. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't really have to spend any money, but just remember that the more you spend on money and time to, you know, like Scott said, not like crazy time, but um, the more you give, the more value you add to your customers, the better results they're going to get. And then in turn, the more money you're going to make because they're going to keep coming back and they're going to tell people. So sorry. Call to action number one is set a monthly budget for 2017 challenge groups. And then number two, I want you to start this week if you have a challenge group, or even if you are in a challenge group, I want you to add one new thing. So whether that's the 100% club, um, maybe just a recognition thing like, good job for doing great today. You know, it doesn't have to be much. Just, just add one new thing to your challenge group that maybe could add something, but it doesn't cost a lot or if anything. All right. So any questions? Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks for sticking around and please let me know if you have any questions, send me a message. I'm always here to chat. So thanks guys, have a good night. Bye.